DJI appears to be preparing one of its most ambitious drone launches yet. The company has officially received FCC certification for a new aircraft widely believed to be the DJI Avada 360, and the timing alone has sparked intense discussion across the drone community. The FCC filing reveals two separate model numbers, which usually points to multiple bundles or different battery configurations. More importantly, the approval suggests DJI is moving fast, possibly accelerating its release plans amid ongoing uncertainty surrounding a potential U.S. drone ban. Rather than being a traditional FPV-only drone, the Avada 360 is increasingly believed to be a hybrid design. Rumors suggest DJI is introducing a dual vision system with two operating modes, a full 360-degree capture mode and a standard FPV mode. According to speculation, switching between these modes may involve rotating the gimbal by 90 degrees. In FPV mode, a forward-facing camera handles piloting, while a second rear-facing camera remains hidden and inactive. This clever design would explain why early prototype images failed to show an obvious 360-degree setup. Leaked specs make the Avada 360 sound even more impressive. Reports point to dual 1.1-inch image sensors capable of recording native 8K 360-degree video at up to 50 frames per second. FPV mode could support 4K at up to 120 frames per second, offering smooth, immersive footage for high-speed flying and cinematic shots. Powering all of this is a significantly upgraded 38.67 watt-hours battery, up from 31.7 watt-hours on the Avada 2 potentially pushing flight times beyond 25 minutes or delivering extra power for high-resolution recording. The drone is also expected to feature DJI's O4 transmission system, improved obstacle sensing, and overall enhanced safety. With a rumored price of 6,899 yuan, or around 975 US dollars, the DJI Avada 360 could become one of DJI's most significant FPV and 360-degree drones ever, and possibly one of the last to officially launch in the U.S. anytime soon. Three intelligent flight batteries. Each battery offers 38.67 watt-hours, which is about 22% more capacity than Avada 2 batteries. This allows longer flights, more angles, and less downtime. Charging hub, spare props, and carrying case. Everything fits into a compact box about 12 by 10 by 6 inches, making it travel friendly. And honestly, it's exciting. The Avada 360 will support multiple control setups, including flight goggles N3+, FPV controllers, and the standard RC2. The first leak of the Avada 360 appeared in May, showing a blurry prototype being tested outdoors. Even though the image was unclear, Enhanced versions revealed major design changes compared to the Avada 2. The drone's body looks thinner and longer, and the top section is much lower, sitting almost level with the rotors. This is likely done to keep the drone's body from showing up in 360-degree footage. The back of the drone also seems longer to balance the new slim shape. It comes in a light gray color similar to DJI's newer models, and overall, the design looks more like a larger version of the Neo 2 than a classic Avada. One thing the first leak did not include, however, was a top 360-degree lens, suggesting DJI was actively hiding the main feature during early testing. This became even more interesting when, on August 14th, a new competitor called the Anti-Gravity 360 drone was announced claiming to be the world's first true 360-degree drone with a launch set for January 2026. This triggered speculation across the drone community. Would DJI allow another brand to dominate a category DJI is perfectly positioned to own? About a month later, a new set of leaks made the Avada 360 even more interesting. This time, the photos showed a small bump on top of the drone which many believe could be the hidden 360-degree lens missing from the first leak. This immediately raised questions about whether DJI might release two versions of the drone, one built specifically for 360-degree filming and another focused purely on FPV flying. For the first time, DJI is merging two worlds, a full 360-degree camera system and a switchable FPV drone, all in one device. Early leaks already caused confusion. 
Back in May, photos circulated online showing what many believed was the prototype of the Avatar 3. But now those images have been confirmed to actually show the Avatar 360, caught in FPV mode. The reason no one saw the 360 camera? DJI designed a rotating gimbal that hides the bottom lens by flipping it upward for protection. A clever engineering trick that kept the camera's true capability a secret. This hybrid design makes perfect sense. DJI already dominates both drone manufacturing and compact 360 cameras. Creating a drone that can switch between immersive 360 capture and traditional FPV flight feels like a natural next step, especially after the Avatar 2 set new expectations among advanced pilots. The leaks also reveal professional-looking promo images with the official name Avatar 360, confirming two core operating modes. In 360 mode, both lenses point up and down to capture an entire environment with an invisible drone effect. In FPV mode, the gimbal rotates 90 degrees to reveal a single, forward-facing lens for fast, agile flying. Even more exciting is the technology inside. Each lens is expected to offer a 180-degree field of view with 4K resolution, stitched together using AI to produce 8K 360-degree footage. That's a massive jump in creative power, especially for action sports and cinematic POV shots. In FPV mode, the drone may deliver 5K 60 frames per second video and 30 megapixel photos, while the full 360 system could support 120 megapixel panoramic stills. To handle this heavy data, DJI is reportedly boosting internal storage to 128 gigabytes, plus micro SD support, and flight time is expected to increase slightly to about 25 minutes. The Avatar 360 isn't just about video quality, it's also packed with safety and tracking features. Even the camera block itself resembles the Air 3's design, just scaled down to fit the handheld form factor, which raises questions about how much power DJI managed to fit into such a small body. This new leak isn't just another small update. It completely changes what we thought we knew about DJI's next compact powerhouse. Earlier rumors painted one picture, but Igor's footage tells a very different story. And it's already sparking comparisons to a miniaturized version of the DJI Air 3 camera system. Just days ago, most discussions were centered around the Pocket 4's FCC approval, which signaled that the official launch was getting close. At that point, everyone assumed the design leaks we had seen were accurate. Those earlier images suggested a horizontal, dual-camera layout, with two lenses sitting neatly side by side. But Igor's new test unit flips that idea on its head, literally. In his latest clip, the Pocket 4 appears with a vertical dual lens stack, one lens placed directly above the other. Not only does this look different, but it also changes what people expect from the camera's performance. If DJI is taking inspiration from the Air 3, several lens possibilities come to mind. The first is a compact version of the Air 3's popular 24mm wide-angle lens, possibly using a smaller 1 over 1.3 inch or 1 over 1.5 inch sensor to fit the reduced size. Another possibility is a medium-range zoom inspired by the Air 3's 70mm lens. Since a full 70mm lens might be too big for the Pocket series, DJI could rework it into a more practical 2x zoom, giving creators extra versatility without compromising portability. There's also a chance that DJI is doing something completely new, building a custom dual camera system specifically for the Pocket 4. The vertical layout seen in Igor's footage supports this idea, and the fact that this design doesn't match anything from previous models makes the theory even more convincing. The teaser also showed the Pocket 4 being used vertically, which strongly suggests it's optimized for TikTok, Reels, and all the vertical creators out there. With social-first content becoming so important, this could be one of the biggest selling points. There's also a fascinating moment from the testing footage where the Pocket 3 and Pocket 4 are mounted side by side on the same rig. This makes it obvious that DJI is directly comparing exposure, color science, stabilization, and rolling shutter performance. And even with early firmware, the Pocket 4 screen already looks different brighter, cleaner contrast, 
and possibly showing off new color profiles. The interface also doesn't fully match DJI's usual UI, which likely means this is still a prototype build. With all these leaks hitting at once, the timeline is getting clearer too. Earlier rumors suggested a January 2026 release, but because of the upcoming FCC wireless restrictions on December 23rd, insiders now believe DJI will launch early, possibly on December 18th. Price expectations are currently sitting around $699 to $799, which feels realistic considering the major hardware jump.